Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play The Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. Yes, I know what it says on the screen, just give me a minute to explain. This game came out in 2004, and it's a uh, first-person stealth action game and a tie-in to the movie, The Chronicles of Riddick. What we're actually looking at here is the 2009 sequel, The Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena, which comes with the full Butcher Bay campaign as a bonus, and uh, throws in a graphical makeover, you know, for good measure. I don't want to just sit around staring at this menu all day. So, uh, the short, short version of the story is that this is a prequel to the original Riddick movie, Pitch Black, depicting Riddick's legendary escape from the most infamous prison in the universe. And somewhere along the way, he apparently gets his signature eye shine, which lets him see in the dark. Before I, you know, jump in, I'll mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I jumped into the very first area in order to get readings on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, uh, this is all going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. So, without further ado, let's play the Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. Yeah, both campaigns r available right off the bat. Very convenient. I did have the right one selected, right? Yeah, okay. There's no way that full title is going to fit in a YouTube title. I'll probably cut out The Chronicles of... We're moving again. They just transmitted a safe route through the minefield. That minefield's offering better odds than you're gonna get taking me to Butcher Bay. You think Hoxie's memory is that short? He gets one look at you, Riddick, and all is forgiven. And I bank your bounty plus 50. Plus 50? Now come on, Johns. Greed is an ugly thing. You're in no position to negotiate, Riddick. Dangerous. <laughs> you got nothing left to live for, Riddick. I do. I shut up, with you? You're already counting it, aren't you? I said shut up. Your funeral. I am using a wired Xbox 360 controller, but unfortunately this game seems to have the same problem that Transformers War for Cybertron had, where even if the controller is plugged in and working, it always puts the uh, keyboard commands on the screen. So, you know, that kind of sucks. Uh... For the record, in case anyone was wondering, 
that is uh, Vin Diesel reprising the role of Riddick for this game. And apparently, uh, they actually brought back Cole Hauser from Pitch Black to reprise the role of William Johns, the bounty hunter who had uh, Riddick in his custody at the beginning of that movie. Hmm. Well, fuck that. All right. Escaping from Butcher Bay. Here we go. <laughs> ah. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Hey. Don't fucking move. Today, Johns, you get fucked. You don't move until I say so. Hey, hey, hold it. You go where I say, when I say. I just wanted to look around. What's your problem? Hey, Riddick. Jones has his back at you. Attack him. So, left trigger to silently break his neck, and uh, right trigger to break his neck faster but louder. Let's try right trigger. Come on, my dick. Oh, come! I, I rule! DNA protection. New meat learns the hard way. We should get moving. Ribbish! Down here! You gonna jump down, dude? Or you could get shot, you know, that works too. Press A to jump. You know what? Humor me for a second, folks. I just thought, since I hadn't actually done much yet, I would restart and look at the other dialogue option and break his neck the other way. Hey, don't fucking move. You're a charming individual, Johns. You haven't collected on me yet, Johns. You don't move until I say so. Hey, so, hey, not exactly a scintillating uh, plot I fork right there. I just wanted to look around. Oh, I forgot to restart my timer. And... Blanc. Let's see here. L. DNA protection. New meat learns the hard way. We should get moving. Revit! Down here! Oh shit! Cause they weren't scripted to start shooting until I was down here. So uh how about that moving guy? What if I do this first? Oh no, he just likes to get shot. Oh fuck you, Lambert. I'm clearly more of a lone wolf kind of guy anyway. If you look at flashing objects, a focus frame appears with an object description. Focus frames also indicate character names. You can pick up the pack of smokes by walking up to it and pressing X. If you find or buy a pack of smokes, it will unlock cool stuff in the extra content menu. Hmm. Works for me. Pack 35 found. Extra content unlocked. Butcher Bay. Bloss. What a terrible name for a brand. Smoker's Risk. Loss of Bliss. Must be all creepy. He would have noticed that. Sorry about that, folks. I needed to sneeze. Oh. Hey, buddy. Inmate on the run. Uh. Last button one to punch. 
Uh, mouse button one, that's the right trigger. Left, uh, mouse button two to block. Okay. Move in different directions. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Sort of this, John DiMaggio. I'm a big fan. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I kind of have to know. Oh. Damn, that barely scratched my health. That other guy was a wuss. What was his name? Pixie? Yeah, I got that. Thank you, Dor. On well, stealth mode, and I looked and I was I was messing around with the butons. Press Y for stealth. You sneak silently. A uh, blue screen effect indicates that no one can see you. Look around the corner. See what this piece of meat's up to. Huh. Oh, there it is. It's a uh, left bumper. Surely that does. This was an original Xbox game back in the day. Surely it wasn't, uh. like the black button. I gotta drop him. Oh, leaning can be useful. Oh. Then I should hide the body. Someone might notice. Uh, I guess, yeah. To drag a dead body, strand goes to the body and press X. To release the body, press X again. You must be in stealth mode to do this. Really? Yeah, just let's go. I do like the way it kind of pulls the FOV back when you're crouching. What? There are probably other guards around hide this body in the dark, or his friends will be alerted and they find him and come looking for you. Way ahead of you! Darkness. I can hide the bodies here. Do 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 do. The other buttons do. Obviously, that pauses. Oh, this is a Class D security card. Use it to unlock the door in the fuel storage room. Vent tools. The tools used to open vent hatches. I have a map. No, I do not. Ah. So how do I get up there? Oh. Well, now I gotta look back here. Okay. Why am I over here? Oh. Cool drool. Slippery when wet. Pack number one found. Extra content unlocked. Inmate working suit. What if that's a costume or just concept art? I haven't seen darkness this stark since... Maybe Doom 3. Oh, X does work. Look at that. And hit up. Guess I wasn't crouching enough. Like this right here, this really looks like something you'd see in Doom 3. I 
have to reach forward and hit F1 on the keyboard, because none of the buttons on the controller actually map up to that. To use a hangrail, look up at it and press E to, or jump. Or look at it and press E, or jump onto it by pressing space. Sorry, A. There is a hangrail just above you. To drop a hangrail, press X. Uh, another one. You can drop down on enemies that are far below to kill them and break your fall. Do your best to land on top of them. Up, apparently. Hey, it worked. I'm the best tutorializer ever. So I have to assume this ends with, uh... Either Riddick walking in a room full of guards with guns, or, you know, being beaten unconscious. So it'd be a very short game if he just immediately escaped, wouldn't it? Oh, right, I have to go back up. But the thing that's confusing me is the part where I fucking murdered Johns. Because, uh, it's been a very long time since I've seen Pitch Black, I'll admit it. But I'm pretty sure he was alive. Can't see shit, Captain. Uh, so still, still getting used to the, the, the way movement has momentum. Station takes away the hurt, leaves the pain. I seem fine. This nanomed health unit is empty. In order to refill it, you need to find a refill cartridge and then replace the empty one in the nanomed unit by pressing X. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. I guess I'll do that, then. Hmm. I've seen, I remember some games where, you know, they'd give you a tutorial about how to heal yourself, and then on the way there, they deliberately hurt you, like they make you walk through a fire or something. UD money. The official and universal currency. You currently have ten UD. Okay, universal dollar dues. Fair enough. Nanomed cartridge. Contains additional health charges for nanomed health units. You currently have one cartridges. You are healthy. Fair enough. I guess this is a... Uh, one of those games where you generate health up to the top of your current box. Because I definitely took damage when I got shocked by that gun. Just press mouse button. One, press right trigger when he tries to hit you. This requires okay. careful timing. Oh! Oh! Fuck! Hey! That worked. Any corners I can tuck him in? Maybe that'll do. <laughs> yeah, close enough. It's less obvious anyway. Oh. It only fucking worked. Hold Z down to move around and select a weapon. I did discover that. That was uh this one. Seem to have no ammo. Well, now I can uh, test out that one option I found. Oh, thank you. I thought this was weird. Uh, was it game? 
No. Yeah, they just describe the crosshair instead of uh, showing it to you. So let's laser dot. Hmm. Damn it. That was circle. Here's cross. Maybe I'll go with cross. Call me a traditionalist. Oh, that's literally it. Laser dot, circle, and cross. Let's go with cross. Don't mind if I do. Desert air, extra strong. Warning, package may induce, la induce last breath. Wait, what the fuck does slippery one wet mean? That was the timer, though. So I guess that brings an end to, uh... This first episode of Let's Play The Chronicles of Riddick. Escape from Butcher Bay. <laughs> I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time. Later.